let us now go with our next data set analysis of amazon prime data set so we have five queries which we need to execute so here based on the type okay that is either it is a movie show or a tv show okay so we will be analyzing the data set okay let us now go with the next data set okay just i'll add the data connect data from excel i want amazon prime data okay. i'll just open the data Once the data is open you can see here so it has show id okay the type defines it is a t movie or a tv show title is the title of the movie who is the director what is the who are the cast which they have done okay then the country added on to amazon prime when the title was added on to amazon prime then we have in which year it was released and what is the rating either it is ua a 13 plus 18 plus then what is the duration and where it is listed in listed in is the genre which it belongs to then we have the description for the particular data let us now go with our first data first graph we have to create a donut chart we have to create a donut chart to show the percentage of movie and tv shows okay go to tableau so the first thing what we will do is for all the programs we want uh, all the queries we want the show count so we will create a calculated field named show count okay show count okay we will just take an aggregate function called as count which is already available and use the show id we will using the show id we will be counting the shows okay click on apply okay so after which i'll drag type onto color type onto color and make it as a pie chart go to entire view okay now add show count onto angle show count onto label so here you can see that we in the whole data set we have 7814 movies okay movies and we have 1854 tv shows so what they have asked us to create a donut chart so to create this donut view we want a zero axis create one more calculated field named zero and the value zero okay so this is always must okay there are so many other ways which you can create this particular view so by doing this it is very much easy okay just drag this on to row two times okay go to your first chart increase the size go to second chart okay remove type remove the angle value okay now right click on zero axis dual axis right click on synchronize axis right click on the axis show folder okay go to second chart change the color to white which will give you the donut chart and they have asked us to give the percentage okay so what you will do go to first chart wherever the text is available go there choose quick table calculation percent of total which will give you the total percentage here you can see for 100% 80% we have movies 19% we have tv shows this is our first chart so i'll just rename the chart to percentage of movies and tv shows rename the sheet so the second graph the second graph is to create a area chart okay to show the shows by year of release and the type okay go back to tableau click on new sheet okay select release year using control you have to select a release year type and show count go to show me okay and select area chart this is the area chart which we will be selecting which gives you the graph okay 
So here you can see whatever is in blue color is the TV shows. Whatever you have in orange is the uh, TV shows. Okay. Blue is the movies which you have. Now I'll just add show count to the label so that it will show for each, which each year what is the show count we have. Okay. And rename the sheet to shows by release year. Okay. Shows by release year. Change the okay change the sheet name so this is just a small query where all the queries are very easy in this particular data set so let us now go with our third query so which says we have to create a horizontal bar chart horizontal bar chart to show top 10 genres okay top 10 genres so go back to tableau click on new sheet so here you can see the genres are available in listed in. Okay. So now they have asked us to show the top 10. Drag listed in onto filters. Listed in onto filters. And select. So here you have general wildcard condition and top. So I want top 10. Select top. Here by default none will be selected. Select by field. Top 10 by listed in count. Top 10 by listed in count is what I require. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now select listed in and show count. Go to show me and select the horizontal bar chart which will give you this. These are the top 10 genres. So I will just arrange it in the order. Drag listed in onto colors. Okay. Show count onto label. So, which will give you, which says drama is the highest uh, genre, which is having the highest movies or TV shows, both. Okay. So, I'll just change the sheet to top 10 genre. Right click. Change the color of the text. Okay. So this is our query 3. Next let us go with our query 4. Here we have to create a map to display the total shows by country. Okay. We will go to tab view. Okay. Click on new sheet. Select country and show count. Go to show me and select the chart. Second chart. Second map. Okay. Which will show you the chart. It will say take some time. So once it is done, you can see that it has taken all the countries. So I want to add country onto color so that it takes different colors. So by default, it will take circle as the symbol. Select map so that each country is defined with the color. Then I want total number of shows by the country. I will add show count onto label. Show count. Show count onto label. Also country name onto label. So which will give you country name with the total number of shows. You can see here we have 67 unknowns. Why? Because go to data source. Okay. Here you have country details. So if you just scroll down while seeing the country details. So you can see that there are some null values. Why? Because in our data set we have. Uh, Canada, comma, United States, comma, Italy. Okay. If you have comma, it cannot identify. That is why you are getting, you are getting 67 unknowns. Okay. Country wise show count. Change the sheet name. Country wise show count. So if you just separate them, okay separate the graph uh, from the color uh, from the uh, commas so and keep it in different rows then you will get you know, so many number of countries added change the sheet name to q4 okay 
Next, the last query which we want to execute is create a text sheet to show the description of any movie or movies. Go back to Tableau, go to new sheet, okay? Add, type onto filter and select only movies as they have mentioned just to select the movies. Only movies should be selected. Click on apply and OK. After which I'll just hold. Description. And go to show me use text table. So which will create the movies description. So after which what I'll do is. I'll just. Increase the size. Okay. Increase the size. Now I want only for the movies. So I'll just add title onto filter, title onto filter, and select list for few. They'll it will directly select custom value list. Go back to list from select from the list. Okay, if all are selected, when you click on when all are selected, when you just click on none, all the values will be deselected. All the values will be deselected. I'll just select two values, click on apply, click on OK. Only two uh, films values will be description will be displayed. OK, so you have to give a choice for the viewer to select Okay, which description he requires. So to do that, we will go to filter, show filter, which will show the filter. You can choose the description here. OK, for which film you want the description, you can choose the description. Okay, this is your last query, fifth query. Right click. Description. Of. Movies. Right click. Okay, change the color. Sheet name. So here the last one is we have to build an interactive dashboard. Okay, go back to Tableau, go to dashboard. Either you can here use new dashboard here or go to dashboard, select new dashboard and first change the size to automatic. So the entire screen is selected. Then go scroll down and use show dashboard. Just double click, change to analysis of Amazon Prime data set. Okay. So whatever the justification you want, you can do. Click on apply. Okay. Now add the sheets. Okay. Add the sheet. Then So this is the content. So just I'll rearrange the content. So this is how you are filled. And you can also use however the filters you want. So if you just go here, use a filter. Okay. Select drama. Okay. If it is listed in drama, it will show the value. So you can select all. So that whichever is listed, you can see that. If you select only one or two. Okay, if it belongs to a particular genre, so only those genres data will be the same. Okay, this is your interactive dashboard. So you can just come back. Switch up the filter, which shows all the data. Thank you.